The last simple data type that JavaScript has, also called a primitive data type, is called a Boolean. Now, a Boolean is really just uh, true or false. That's all it is. So let's create a new variable here called isHuman, and that's equal to true, meaning, yes, I am a human. Um, let's create another one, is dinosaur. Unfortunately, that's false, though. I think that'd be pretty exciting if I was a dinosaur. So that's all there is to Booleans. They are on or off, true or false. They're just that. Now, when we're doing Booleans, though, they become really helpful later on, and we can use them to sort of redirect our program flow. So they are a way to sort of just trigger a a simple on off system, but we can use those in if statements and loops and stuff like that, which we'll look in other videos, look at in other videos that help sort of control our flow of our program. Now you'll notice there's when I named these, I actually prepended them with the word is. And that's because uh, it's kind of a convention that if you name your if your variable contains a Boolean, it should have the word it is in front of it. So you can sort of read it in a sentence. So is human true? Is dinosaur false? It's just kind of a little convention. So Booleans, they can only be true or false. Uh, yes, that's really all there is to them. It'll make more sense when we start using them in more complex programming flow.